I'm Ian Wright. I'm Deputy Director General for Research and Development for Integrated Sciences here at the International Livestock Research Institute, Ilri. One of my first experiences of the importance of gender in the perception of uh, introduction of new technologies and interventions was more than 20 years ago. I was collaborating with the Aga Khan Rural Support Programme in northern Pakistan. I was working in the Karakoram Mountains, surrounded by the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas in the shadow of Rakapushi, one of the highest mountains in the Himalayas. I was visiting a small village with some of my colleagues one afternoon and talking to the men in the village who told me that a local NGO had introduced a new breed of sheep. The men were really excited. These sheep were 25% bigger, their carcasses were heavier, they made more money when they sold those sheep at the market. Meanwhile, one of my colleagues was talking to the woman in the house next door. The woman had a totally different view of these sheep. They were saying, oh, these sheep, the worst thing that ever happened to our village. They're bigger, they eat more food, we've got to spend more time collecting feed and forage for them. We don't have time to do anything else. And that was a real eye-opener for me as an example of how men and women, in this particular case in relation to rearing sheep, how men and women had a very different perception, a very different view of the introduction of a new technology. So since that afternoon in northern Pakistan 20 years ago, I've been very aware of the importance of gender and gender differentiation in agriculture and particularly livestock research.